Hey everyone, got the Blue Eddy here today. Just got this in. It's the EB55 700 watt, 537 watt hour. At the moment, I'm pulling in 85 watts out of a new power 100 watt solar panel just sitting on the roof. I was going to give you a little first look at this because I just got this in and I'm going to kind of halfway compare it, you know, to here to the Rock Pals 500 watt, 540. 40 watt hour battery so so far i really like this blue yeti it is a little bigger and a little heavier than the rock pals but the battery watt hours are really pretty much the same but i would say the blue yeti is a lot more sturdy you know higher end nothing wrong with the rock pals though it's been working very well for me and it's also charging on a 100 watt new power solar panel but all right, let's see. We're going to start with the screen here. You, it does go off, so that's nice. You can have it, you know, nice and dark in your van or, you know, camping or whatever if you like it nice and dark. So that's nice to have. And the Rock Pal screen stays on no matter what if you're charging it or have a button on. But it does go dark, obviously, if you have nothing. As you can hear... The Blue Yeti fan here is kind of like, it's a little mini jet almost. It's a pretty good fan to keep it nice and cool. But so far I haven't noticed that it comes on unless it's being charged. So far it hasn't come on while I'm using it, you know, pulling power. Uh, I haven't pulled any big power or anything yet though. Only been running my set power fridge here. Oh. Running the set power fridge right, to the regulated 12 volt plug. And then you do have your four plugs there. There's nothing in these, so it's just a spot for plugs that have a you know ground to them. You have your USB C 100 watts here, your 5 volt 3 amp plugs, and your USB A plugs. One thing I really like about this is you can charge it by solar and the wall adapter at the same time. This wall adapter actually pulls about 240-ish watts and it'll charge the Blue Eddy at about 208 watts I've seen. So you can actually, if you want, if you want to, you could plug this right into the Rock Pals and charge the Blue Eddy from the Rock Pals or you know, vice versa really. So far, I'm very pleased with this. Give you a look back here. There is a light on the back. I wouldn't say that's my favorite spot to have it, but you have a light, and that's always nice to have. The Rocks Pals does have it on the front. And it does have three levels instead of two levels, and then the SOS if you double-click. Uh, I do like the Blue Eddy. It does have the 12 volt regulated plug and the Rock Pals does not. So this will only go down to about 60% battery uh, on when, if I'm running my fridge on the plug. This Blue Eddy being 12 volt regulated will run all the way down to zero on the fridge. So that's really nice to have. The Blue Eddy also has the LiPo 4 uh, battery so you can get 2500 cycles before the 80 percent life of the battery the rock pals has the lithium ion and they do about 500 cycles to the 80 percent battery life so real nice you know to still have but not quite long term you see there's two plugs on the 500 watt 540 rock pals and you do have the type c and the quick charge usb then you have the 12 volt 4 amp dc plugs there a eh. little quick review towards them oh, let me actually i need to show you this the blue yeti it did come with that power box you see here and then it did come with your 12 volt cigarette lighter plug as well and then obviously the solar panel cord 
which I have running out to a solar panel and I'll be actually doing a review on the new power solar panels here real soon they're about to get mounted to the roof as well as the set power fridge review and better look at here coming real soon right, here's the certificate of passing quality control they do have a pretty nice user manual here pretty detailed you have your inputs and you know how everything's labeled there you know up to 400 watts of input power but one thing i have found is you have to use the blue eddy solar panel to get the 200 watts of solar to them if you try to find like say 150 watt new power or rainy g or hqst panel or something the amps are too high because the MPPT only holds up to an 8 amps. And all of those are 8.5, 9, 10, 11 amps. So you're not going to be able to get the 200 watts of solar if you're using, say, the, you know, Ready G or HQST or something like that. So, yeah, kind of a bummer. And that's why I'm actually running a solar panel to the Rock Pals and a solar panel to the Blue Eddy. And it does have, you know, back to here, uh, the eco mode you can change it to and everything. List of what's in the box. Your frequently asked questions. And you got your safety instructions. And general specs, output specs, input specs, all that right here. So they make it real nice for you. You know, detailed so you don't mess it up. And then you do have your warranty policy, policy here. It's a two-year hassle-free warranty. So yeah, Blue Yeti seems to really be on their game. And speaking of that... The customer service I received was absolutely amazing. My first one actually got stolen. It happens. First time I've ever had a package stolen. Blue Yeti, they say they don't normally take responsibility for a, you know, fault of the person like UPS or United States Postal Service, you know, they don't take responsibility if it gets lost or stolen most of the time. But they did decide to send me a new one. Or a second one. And I absolutely, 100%, very thankful for that. Being disabled and on SSI. You know, 500 bucks, well, 450 because it was on sale. 500 originally. That's a good amount of money for someone like me. So, customer service absolutely top notch on blue yeti and i'm going to be bringing you guys a more updated version well not version but an updated video after i use this a while and as you know i'm actually wanting to get rid of this and get a second one of these most likely um but yeah i'm gonna use it for a while and i'll give you an update after a couple months or something on it and then, yeah, watch for the set power and the new power videos coming soon as well. I hope you like and subscribe. I'll be out there in the woods and traveling around here real soon, bringing you more videos. And, yeah, have a good one, everyone, and stay safe out there.